The Sea Coach Express starts boarding at 5.30 p.m. Lucky Jacob gets on, heading home at the end of a busy day. The fashion designer works at the business center on Victoria Island, but he lives at the other end of town. For him, the ferry wins hands down compared to traveling by car. This press is much compared to this because you're going to spend about three hours on the road if you're going by road. But this is this one takes you about forty five minutes to get to where you're going to. So this one is far better compared to road. Commuters spend hours stuck in traffic on their journeys to and from work in Lagos. Three bridges connect the city's island districts, including the business centre, to the mainland. And a further one is being planned. But Abisola Kampson thinks the city's traffic problems could be solved if more people travelled by boat. She wants to triple the number of water passengers over the next three years, from two to six million per month. We're just at the infancy of water transportation in Lagos State. We have to ensure that the waterways are dredged and that they're dredged to a safe depth that can accommodate larger types of vessels. So one of the reasons why you wouldn't see a lot of large vessels within the inland waterways is their ability to be able to move safely. Most passenger boats here are old and rather small. Accidents are common. One passenger even died in an incident back in May. 27 others were injured. Meanwhile, fashion designer Lucky Jacob has nearly arrived on the other side, and he'll be home in time for dinner with his family. But it's not something he can do every day. At three euros each way, he can only afford the boat twice a week. The bus costs just a third of this. He says the government should do more. We have water everywhere, so at least it will ease the road transport system. You understand? Uh -huh. So government should do something about it. If they bring in more boats, at least the pressure on the roads will, will lessen a bit. The governor of Lagos has announced plans to replace seven old ferries within six months. But most traffic-weary Nigerians are only prepared to believe politicians' promises when they're put into action.